YouTube, what? <gasps> okay, be normal, Liana, be normal. Action, no? One, two, three, action. There it is. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Ileana Trees. That's right, I have a new last name. If you are not new to my channel, you know who I am and that I recently got married. Well, what? I'm actually filming in my studio room right now, which is why I have this up because my room around me is a disaster. I have not really set up my makeup room yet for film. Like I accept clients in here, like makeup clients and stuff. Um, but I have not, sorry, adjusting my seat. Um, I haven't set up a cute background yet. Like I really miss my, my, my lights in my previous videos from my parents' house. So I think I might bring that back or do something different. I don't know. I am open for any ideas that y'all have. I'm going to stop rambling. So in this video, I'm really excited to do because I, where my husband bought me the entire Disney collection for you guys, actually. He was like, babe, you need to film. You need to just sit down and film. And I was just like, I don't know. So um, he surprised me and bought me the whole entire ColourPop collection. And I think mainly because he loves Disney as much as I do, like we're Disney nerds around here. So I got all the lipsticks. Look how cute this packaging is. Like, I love it. This is so adorable. I got Bippity Boppity and Boop lip glosses. These are so cute. I just, I would buy them for the name. I think it's adorable. We got the four individual eyeshadows. And of course, the eyeshadow palette. Oh, so precious. I, I seriously love this. I even kept the box, like it, everything came in because I'm a nerd. So yeah, fair warning. I ramble a lot in this video and I still apologize. And I apologize. See right there, I do it again. I apologize. Um, I feel like doing my makeup and then talking as I do it, like I was a little rusty at it and I just kind of update y'all on like, where we moved to and that like I got a dog and I'm gonna shut up because I'm just gonna give away all of what I ramble about right now. So if you like what you see and you wanna see how I did this look and just see me ramble about it, go ahead and keep watching. So first of all, I'm excited because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I look a little crazy guys. So let's start and put some makeup on. I'm gonna go into Prince Charming with a flat brush. This one's from MAC, but really any flat brush will do. And we're just gonna apply it underneath the brow bone and then just blend it down. This has so much pigmentation. I'm really trying to be careful with how much I actually pick up on this brush because I don't want it to be like too crazy. I think I might have to turn off my fan. I think it's moving my background. Hold up. I'm gonna go in with Grumpy looks like this. This is just a nice fluffy brush and I'm just kind of going back and forth making sure it's all in there in the crease area. I feel like these eyeshadows are really pigmented so you really just, I mean literally just a few little taps is all you need. I'm not even really like getting in there and picking up a bunch of product which is great. I'm gonna take <laughs> Abu just because I think that's a cute name. And that's a really good go-to color for me. I really like like that burnt orange. I seriously need a mirror in here. Y'all, my setup is not, not ready for me in here. And I'm just gonna take it on the outside of my crease. I mean the outside of my lid and on the outside of my crease. Since my last video, I um, got married. I moved. <laughs> Uh, about 40 minutes away from my parents, so it's not crazy far from like, you know, what I'm used to, but it is like a new area and it is more like in the city. Um, so that's been interesting. I hate traffic. I literally can't function in traffic, so that has not been fun. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to get used to the area. I got a dog. Have y'all seen my dog? Isn't he adorable? Look how cute he is. He's literally a big teddy bear. I'm obsessed. You know what's really funny is he's a multi poo and we got him because multi poos were supposed to be um, like nine pounds max and I just wanted like a little dog that didn't shed, right? Well, my multi poo whose name is Winston, by the way, Winston Bear, um, got 26 pounds. He legit more than doubled in weight. So I was like, oh, he's done growing. He's done growing. Um, yeah, I thought he was done growing. So my dog is a 26 pound multi poo that looks like a doodle. Like he literally legit looks like a doodle. Let's do fairy godmother. Cause I feel like 
This pink is just calling my name right here. This is it, it's gorgeous, we're gonna do that. But first, I'm gonna put a little concealer on my eyelid, because I really want this color to pop. So we're just gonna go with my NARS concealer. Don't look at my disgusting nails. This is in the color Custard. This is like my go-to concealer, and I'm just putting it on a flat Urban Decay brush that like came in a palette. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid. A lot of people keep asking me like, how's married life? I don't really know how to answer that question. Like, it's great, of course. It's adjust, like a lot of adjusting. But my husband said it perfectly. It's like a really long sleepover with like your best friend. Like you, you don't ha he doesn't have to like drop me off anymore or like, you know, come back the next day because he would come over like every day after work. Like he would drive an hour and a half in traffic to come visit me every day during the week. So now it's just like a really long sleepover with your best friend that just doesn't end, which is really fun. And I know y'all love my Jake because I feel like every time I post anything of him on my Instagram, if you follow me on my Instagram as well, it like blows up. So I'm like, clearly they like to see him because literally anything I post with Jake gets more likes than like anything else on my feed, which I think is hilarious. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go into this pink color right here. I'm really eyeing that silver color too. So I feel like I haven't talked about what my steps are out loud in so long. I feel like I'm like a little rusty over here. This isn't as pigmented as I would have hoped, but we're just we're just gonna go with it. Let me try my finger. Yep, with my finger, it's a lot better. So I'm just using my finger. Yeah, look at the difference. So with my finger, apparently, I'm just gonna tap it on the outer portion of my eyelid. Um, I'm gonna go into Prince Charming again. Actually, no, I already used Prince Charming. We're gonna go different and we're gonna go into Thingamabob. You know why that's gray? Because Thingabob is a fork in Ariel. Mm. This one actually, I didn't really need to use my finger. This one's super pigmented just with the brush alone. So I didn't realize it was gonna be this pigmented against this pink color. So I might have to pop another color in there to kind of blend that out. Pretty. Okay, so using the brush, I'm gonna go in with Passion Apple. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Passion Apple, it's this purple. We're gonna see how pigmented this one is. We, oh, it's super pigmented. So I'm just gonna dab it with the brush and then kind of just blend the two colors with my finger. Um, we went to Disney not that long ago, actually, and now we're gonna go back um, to Disney for December for their Christmas party. I've never been, but apparently they have unlimited like fake snow and hot chocolate and cookies, and I'm like, okay, I'm sold. So that, that's gonna be really fun. We're gonna go with like my family and my husband and it's just, it's gonna be a blast. My little cousin's coming with us. I don't think my sister and her husband are coming, which I'm really bummed about, but it's still gonna be fun. I'm really liking the way this is turning out. Like I said, I didn't have a plan, so I'm happy when things work out when I don't plan for them to. Actually, my favorite looks actually happen when I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sitting there playing, so. I'm taking a 217 by MAC, and I'm gonna dip it into, oh, either Beast or Magic Carpet. I'm gonna do Magic Carpet. It's like this really nice, like, deep plum color. My husband's blowing up my phone right now because he's having a guy's night because his friend's in town, and they're having, like, food contests. They bought, like, anchovies, and all this other disgusting stuff, like pie, like little pie crust, and they're gonna put baby food in it, and I, I guess they're gonna see who taps out first, I don't know. So he's sending me videos, that's why my phone is going crazy. Sorry, I should totally turn that off. So I'm just putting this in my crease, but I'm trying to go, um, not really get too much, sorry, I am gonna turn this on mute. So I'm putting this right in my crease, but not really trying to get it on the lid. So, just kind of following my eye shape. What is on, I think I got brush. I think I got mascara on this brush. I'm like, what is that, that black dot on there? I was gonna put my dog on a leash and just have him in here, but my room's a mess right now. I've got clothes everywhere and he will just come in here and just chew on everything. 
But he is a really good dog though. He's actually incredibly smart. He's just mischievous. Like, I know what you're telling me to do and I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not gonna do it. Like, that's, that's his attitude. Now with my fluffy brush, I'm just going back in and just kind of blending out that outer edge of that purple color. I'm really liking this orange color now that I'm putting things around it. I might go back and intensify that a little bit more to really make that pop, but I'm just kind of going around my eye shape. Going with my eye shape is always just easy and I don't really have to think about it. And since I'm talking too much in this video, that's just what we're gonna do. So if y'all wanna see a home tour video, even though my house is like not fully complete, let me know because I think that would be so fun and I feel like if I wait until I start actually decorating and things are getting done I feel like it just won't happen but it might be cool to do like a video so I can do like a before and after like you know once it, my house comes further along. I grab my pinky and go back into this pink color and really try to make that pop a little bit more. Yep that'll do it. It's like a neon orange, but like a soft neon orange. I use this blending brush for everything. So I'm gonna go back in and just kind of soften it so there's no edges. I really like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip to my face right now before we finish the eyes. So I've been using the J1 Jelly Pack primer. It's been, I don't know if I, if I was using this when I was filming. Oh, I think I used it on my wedding day. If y'all watch that video, look how red my skin is lately. And my current foundation obsession is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. I love it. Um, I don't really care that it has SPF in it, but it does if you like that feature. Um, I just like that it's still not heavy like a foundation. I don't really like heavy foundation, so I like that this is just a nice um, BB cream. <laughs> like, a like a moisture tint, but... I feel like moisture tints have a little bit less coverage than a BB cream, but this one still has great coverage. And it's super hydrating, so I love it. I'm going to use my NARS Custard Concealer. I just put like little dots, like this. And highlight what I want in this very sloppy um, manner. And then I get my amazing blending brush. Sorry guys, I got blurry. I'm back. So I just get this amazing fluffy brush and then just blend it out as so. Like so, I mean. I'm just gonna tap it right in the hollow of my eye area because I look like I haven't been sleeping. You know what I just realized? I've been filming this whole time without my ring light. I'm so sorry. Whoa, that is super bright now. Did that just make like the biggest difference? I am so sorry. Can y'all tell I am just completely out of my filming routine? If anything, this video is just like me trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing again. So I don't want a heavy contour, so I'm really not putting a lot on my nose and on my Cupid's bow. I'm just putting whatever was left over from my concealer. And I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick, and this one's in Mocha, and I'm just gonna, you know, draw funny lines on my face. That is a horrible crooked line, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna blend it out to where it looks a little better. This is another um, Real Techniques brush that I really like. And I'm just using it to just blend out that nose contour. And I'm gonna use this one to blend out this line on my cheek and around my face. So after that, I'm going to take NC40 from uh, MAC Studio Fix because it's literally what I have in front of me. Usually I would use like a translucent powder, but this is what's happening right now. Like I said, totally unplanned. I'm just gonna kind of use that to set any type of like highlighted areas like my nose and my cupid's bow. I seriously need a new camera lens. I feel like every time I move a lot, it just doesn't, it flips out and doesn't know how to refocus itself. So I apologize. Perfect. 
I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D contour palette and I'm looking for my brush. I am looking for, I don't have a brush. I don't have a brush. Oh snap. All right, so using the same, no, hold on, I can't do that. No, I'm gonna have to, okay. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with this middle color and just kind of, you know, go back and forth. I'm gonna kind of go in and just warm up the outside of my forehead. Go ahead and smile and just go right from the top of your ear down, or you can make the duck face, you know, whichever. All right. Using those same two tones to kind of set that contour that I did with the cream on my nose. And just ever so lightly, you don't want a crazy contour on your nose. And then same thing with the Cupid's bow area. Just kind of in the center. And if you get a little too carried away, you can always grab your foundation brush and just using the excess, uh, blend it out. So that's what I'm doing. So I like this brush because I'm going to use the tip of it now. And I'm going to go into this color right here and use it to just hit those highlighted areas. Um, since we're just really just going at it now, I'm just going to go ahead and also put that under my eye. Miss, I don't like a lot of under eye products. Yep, that's what's happening. But it's just it just makes it so much brighter. I don't really use this peach color a lot, um, but I do use it a lot on my clients um, that are a little bit lighter skin. I have the same one in my makeup kit for my clients. Um, and I'll use it for like if they have like blue veins or just kind of like a lot of gray happening and it really brightens that eye area up. I have a drawer full of makeup over here so I'm just gonna hopefully find a blush. You'll just use this one. This one is Gleeful by MAC. Oh my gosh, this is an old color. And I'm using the same brush because it is apparently all I grab for a face brush. I'm gonna smile and just dab it on the apples of my cheeks. Oh my goodness, I didn't bring my favorite highlighter downstairs. Oh, I don't have a highlighter. Old, please. Okay, I found a highlight option. It is super old and it's called Adored. Um, it's by MAC from when I worked there years ago and I'm just gonna put it right here. Ooh, I haven't touched this in forever. I have so many MAC products just everywhere. I worked there for like six years, five and a half, six years. Just kind of touching those areas that I want that, you know, J-Lo glow to be happening. Perfect, perfect. You know, for having one brush color, I'm not, I'm not mad at this, you know, face situation here. Not too shabby. This is NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It is my go-to. I'm just gonna follow my natural lash line. My natural lash line, you know what I mean? My natural eye shape. Maybe bring it up just a little bit and really get the inner corner. Anybody else like not breathe while they do eyeliner? I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, so I'm just gonna dab my pointy little brush, get some nice color on it, and just run it along the bottom of my lash line. Ooh, it kind of has like purple glitter on it. That's pretty, I like that. I left um, music on for my dog upstairs so that he wouldn't hear me but now I hear my dog and the music so I am hoping that y'all don't hear it in the camera. I just yelled at Alexa to turn off the music because I feel like I will really regret if y'all can't hear that. So this purple is not as poppin as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Be Our Guest color instead. Yep that's better. That's still not as vibrant. I think that these are mineral colors. And usually mineral ones you wet so that they become more um, enhanced. So we're just gonna Yep, there it goes. 
All right, so now I wanna use that purple one again now that it looks so much better. All right, so same thing with the purple one. I'm just gonna dip my brush in the purple color and then spray it. This is chamomile and white tea from Pearl, Pear, Pear Lessons. Pear Lessons, wow, I can't say it. Um, and we're just gonna put the purple right here. Just kind of spraying it more. There it is. It's just a really, these are really soft colors. I'm gonna kind of go in and darken that a little bit with poison apple. Just this color right here. I wanted this bottom part of my eye to be like really colorful. So we're just going to do this instead. I feel like when I swatch those colors, um, the individual eyeshadows, these ones, I feel like. They looked really pretty, but once again, like, sometimes with shadows you have to use your fingers, so I feel like those would make really pretty, like, lid colors, because you can, like, really pack them on and really appreciate the color of them. Um, but I feel like with a precision brush, like a pencil brush, underneath um, your eye, like, kind of, you know, smoked out a little bit, I feel like just was not my friend. So, yeah, that looks a lot better. And I'm going to take my 217 brush again with Poison Apple and really just bring out that color on the outer corner of my eye and blend it up with what we have going on up here because well, I don't really have a reason, just because I feel like it. And take my Magic Fluffy brush. Y'all, by the way, I'm coming out with my own brush line. Here is a sneak peek. It has my name, a scripture about how amazing you are. And I've been working on them for a really long time. And I recently just got my final sample from a manufacturer I've been working with for like, I don't know, six, probably like a year now. And they just really couldn't, that's a lie, not a year. For about six months. Um, eight months actually probably even longer and they just really couldn't get the quality down and I'm not gonna put my name on just anything so I'm already talking to like another manufacturer to um, get things in motion because I really want to launch my brush set but like I said it won't just be anything I want the quality to be amazing for you ladies and if I'm not gonna use it every day like why would I expect you to right so I really like this I like that this kind of has a wider shape than my eye. It doesn't just go around my eye shape. It kind of comes out here a little bit. I like it a lot. So we're going to go back in with the pencil brush and we're gonna use um, Thingamabob, which was this gray color from earlier because I really liked it and it was really pigmented. And I'm gonna put it right here in my tear duct area. Not in my tear duct, obviously, but outside my tear duct area. Wow, that's... That is very alarming. That is super intense, but I like it. I love makeup. If you get carried away or you make a mistake, girl, it's just makeup, take it off, try again. It's no big deal. Now that I'm blinding people with the inner corner of my eye, I think I'm done. I'm gonna go in with magic... Oh, ha. Huh. Midnight curfew right here. Did y'all have curfews growing up? I don't know if I did. I guess I guess I'm, I guess that would mean no. Yep, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right in the outer crease area and blend it out with exactly where we put that purple color, but just not all the way out. Usually when I do my makeup, I'm sitting Indian style on my counter and I'm like right in front of my face. So the fact that this mirror is like so far away, it's like tripping me out. So if I load this video on my computer and it looks like a mess, y'all will never see it. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in and just merging all of those colors. Now I wish my eyebrows looked a little cleaner, but I don't think they look all that bad. Um, okay, my favorite part, lipstick. I don't know which one to use. We have Cinderella, Jasmine, Snow White, Tiana, Belle, and Ariel. 
Look at all of these gorgeous shades. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Cinderella and hopefully I have a lip liner. Mm, ooh, Whirl will do. I'm gonna grab Whirl from MAC. I probably grab something deeper. I really need to move my makeup down here. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be. Actually, um, I'm gonna go in with Magenta by MAC just to kind of give this pink some more depth. So we have the options of Bippity Boppity and Boop. How cute are these? I love it. These are ultra glossy lippies from ColourPop. Well, you know, it's all from ColourPop. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with Bippity. It's like this nice clear one. I love how like moist and cushiony this is. All right, so I went ahead and threw on some lashes by Dodo. They're seriously like, it's a funny name, but they're my favorite. I tag them all the time in my Instagram story um, and on my feed. And I used Lash Sensational um, in Black is Black for my mascara. This is another drugstore favorite of mine. And if I rambled so much about I don't even know what just now or nothing, I hope that y'all at least enjoyed the makeup look. And before I turn off this camera, girl, I want to tell you that you are rare, set apart, made for a purpose, full of identity, and you are so loved by this girl right here, and you, as well, are a princess, girl. You are made to shine, so go ahead, shine on, and I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah. Bye, beauties! Hey, beauty! <laughs> what? Uh, edit. Use your words. Mascaras. <laughs> so as as